This feels good. I'm liking this. So this video is gonna be a little bit different because we actually have right here in this big old box a 93 pound California King mattress. This is my first time doing a video on a whole mattress. I've normally done mattress toppers and mattress accessories. So a mattress, this is a little bit different. And of course, because it's so big, so heavy, I'm not gonna take it to the studio, unbox it, and then bring it home. Because once this is out of the box, I don't plan on ever moving it because you know how hard it's gonna be to move a huge California King mattress that weighs 93 pounds? Yeah. If you want to do it for me, let me know. But anyways, we are looking at the Glad Grid U2 Stop Tossing and Turning Mattress. So it's actually supposed to align your spine and stop you from tossing and turning at night so you can get a better sleep. And to be perfectly honest, I know I toss and turn a lot. I got cameras in my room. I fall asleep cuddling my girlfriend, right? I wake up, I'm like way over here. I'm like, how did that happen? She's like, I thought you didn't want to cuddle me. I'm like, I was trying, but once I fell asleep, all bets are off. I'm not sure what happened. But with this mattress, you too, get it, you, you too? You too can stop tossing and turning. That's pretty cool, right? You see how they did there, it's pretty amazing. Once we get this thing unboxed, you're gonna see how they have this unique design that I've never seen before, and it's actually kind of cool. As far as features go, you're supposed to have less shoulder and back pain because it has a shoulder in design. And if you don't know what that means, it's supposed to sink your shoulders in a bit deeper than the rest of your body to completely align your spine. That way it's not going all curvy and you're waking up with your back hurting and you won't be able to walk. By doing this, it provides more support for your hip, waist, and lower back, and keeps a healthy spine alignment in all sleeping positions. So whether you're stomach, side, or back sleeper, you're good to go. It also does feature a heat away system to cool you down while you sleep, but I've heard this before and normally it doesn't actually change anything and I'm still really hot when I sleep. Personally, I sleep really hot. I need the AC on full blast all night or I wake up covered in sweat, but this is actually infused with copper to help dissipate your body heat and it also has gel that will help reject your body heat. So maybe it'll actually do something. The exclusive Glad Grid memory foam has constructed air pockets to help let the air flow and wick away body sweat. Paired with soft still technology to have a nice cool surface to keep you cool at night. All this sounds great, I just hope it actually works. Now the entire mattress is supposed to relieve body tension and catch the softest comfort. So that sounds great because personally, I like my mattress as plush as possible. Hopefully this one fits the bill. It's supposed to allow you the maximum hug feeling. So even if I'm not cuddling with anyone, the mattress can cuddle with me. As far as durability goes, you're supposed to be able to get 10 years out of this mattress, which is great because remember, you spend a third of your life on this mattress and you always wanna have a good mattress during all this time, but you don't wanna have to go buy one every couple of years. So if you can buy one good mattress that lasts for 10 years and you could spend the third of your life on it, whoa. It's like a win-win situation right there. It's made with harmless foam that's CertiPure US certified, as well as non-toxic fiber that's OEKO dash text certified. And I know this is a lot of stuff I'm going through and blabbering on about, but it's actually pretty interesting knowing all this stuff that goes into a mattress. I always thought it was just foam and they wrap it up and that's, you know, that's, that's, that's it. But it does feature a blended cotton cover infused with silver ions. that makes it hypoallergenic, sweat wicking, and antimicrobial. So with all that being said, we're gonna bust this box open, set up the mattress, and put it to a little bit of a test. I'm really excited because I definitely need a new mattress. I've been waking up with my back hurting. Hopefully this could actually solve that. If we take a look on the inside of the box, we can see a nice giant burrito of a mattress. You can see that nice grid pattern. It is completely vacuum sealed in here and it will never be this small ever again. So make sure you're ready to set this thing up when you open the box. Okay, so. I got it out of the box. The box broke. Everything went crazy. It's 93 pounds. Like, I could probably lift 93 pounds. But when it's big like this, you know how hard that is? You definitely should have some help when you do this. But this fell out of the out of the box. So I'm kind of curious what this is. I didn't know there was stuff inside. Oh, this is going to come in handy. Steps to set up the mattress. I'm going to take a look at this. <laughs> you get 120 night risk free trial. So you have 120 nights to sleep on it. If you don't like it, then you can send it back for free, I guess. 10 year warranty and they're glad to help. They give you an 800 number, their email, all that good stuff. Instructions on how to do it. Perfect. I really like the branding here. They went all out with that glad grid and I'm glad they did. Okay. This is kind of cool. I don't know what these are. It looks like they're just some signs here and they have different things. Glad to see you show off your glad grip. Follow the steps below to win a free pillow for your loved one. Or me, I'm a loved one. I love myself. 
apply at least one of the five car stickers to your these are car stickers i'm not putting this on my car these are huge post a picture or video publicly on social media showing us your stickers have been applied to your car tag glad grid on facebook or instagram and post it with the hashtag glad to sleep great tell us the reasons why you love glad grid in your post dm them your screenshot and all that good stuff and they'll send you a pillow so that's cool but i just don't want to put these on my car <laughs> These are huge. Like, it was a small bumper sticker. Okay, I still wouldn't do it. I don't know why people do bumper stickers, whatever. So let's see what we got. Put your phone down. Maybe I should put this one on because everyone's always on their phone. Stop before you're getting too close. Stop before you're getting too close. Okay, definitely don't want to put this one on. It's illiterate. <laughs> don't drive sleepy. Okay. Stop fast and furious on the road. Not using that one. I like doing that. And turn off your high beams. Yeah take note so there we go that's cool looks like that's what was in here so i mean that's a good way to get a free pillow if you don't want to buy it but now back to the mattress you see it here this thing is so heavy like i'm just thinking about I'm like if i move i'm hiring some movers because i'm not trying to move this thing i'm telling you that right now i can barely move it like this i'm gonna have to move it while it's flopping around no but let's get back let's get it set up Alright, so we got the mattress ready to go. You're supposed to put it on one end of your bed. You have to roll it out once you cut it. So you have to kind of look at it to figure out, I hope I have it the right way, which way it's supposed to roll. Cause if it's gonna roll this way, we're gonna be in trouble. So hopefully, cause there's no turning back. We have one shot at this, just very carefully cut it. You do not want to cut the mattress. Oh, it's really close. <laughs> oh, see, I'm getting, these scissors aren't even that sharp and I'm like touching the mattress. Oh, I'm in there. I'm on the other layer. Starting to... Okay, it's starting. I think it's upside down. Oh, no. Because the glad grid... Wait. Oh, oh, no. No. It's expanding. <laughs> I'm not ready. It's it folded in half. I can't tell which way is the... I don't know if you can hear the air coming out. I don't know if it's supposed to go this way in half or that way in half. I'm not, like, it looks like it's too short, but it's vacuum sealed, so it's hard to tell. Um, oh, that pattern actually looks nice. But look how small it is. It's about to get huge, and I'm running out of time. It, do, it looks like it's going to be too big if I go that way. Let's do a little test. Ugh. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure it has to go this way. <laughs> See, now it lines up, kind of. Yeah, it, it definitely. Okay, so which way would be the top and the bottom? Does it really matter? I know it has that shoulder thing, so I don't know if that's only on one side or if it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> oh, well, it will, oh, I don't want to move it though. I don't, I, was, uh, I don't see anything that says top and bottom. Let's just, let's wing it. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I should have unrolled it first. What am I doing? <laughs> oh this is like a trippy pattern i'm looking at oh it does feel really cold i wonder if it'll stay like that i like that decent softness i mean i'm not laying on it yet but it does feel good it has some nice support but also very plush oh it's looking good so far Let's see if I can show you this. Down here on the bottom, oh, it's unzipped right here. Um, there are little rivets on the actual bottom of the mattress, so that way it'll grip onto your frame or whatever. That way it won't be moving around, which is good when you're getting all those activities done, you know? I don't know why it's unzipped. Probably so we can look inside. Actually, that's a good idea. The outside cases, don't ask me why. <laughs> the outside case is removable, obviously, so you can clean it. I'm just... I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, I'm never going to take this off. You know how hard it's going to be to take off this and put it back on? <laughs> I'm just going to put a mattress protector on top of this. That way that's a lot easier. Trust me. So, I'm not sure. The zipper literally goes all the way around to the other side. Jeez. Let's unwrap this. Let's unzip this corner over here. I want to show you guys the inside. It's kind of hard because the zipper... You have to kind of take it all off to do it. <laughs> I 
as you can see, oh, there's, see, there's another cover. You can't really see anything, but it's a really thick mattress. Granted, we did just open it. It's not fully expanded, although it, it basically is. I mean, I've done stuff like this enough to know it pretty much expands right away, and that's what you get. It's not going to get any bigger. So we're looking at, whoa, almost 10 inches. 10 inches of thickness. This thing was small. See, there's no way to get it back to that size. I wish they would have a little button to, you know, get it ready to move, but I guess that's not possible. Let me get that zipper back on. Very nice zipper there. I like it. If you do want to take it off, it's definitely easy to do. This is a really nice design. I wasn't sure I was going to like the actual grid pattern. I was like, who cares? But it's actually really cool. Granted, I'm going to cover it up with you know, a sheet and comforters and all that good stuff. So it's not really gonna matter, but you know, if you go without sheets, I guess, and look at it, it's pretty cool. Now I know I was talking about how hard it was gonna be to move it, but there's actually handles on here. It looks like you could use these to move it, I think. That's what I'm going with, at least right now, because I don't see any other use for a handle on a mattress other than to move it, so that's actually smart. All right, so here we are. First impression so far, the quality of this mattress is actually very good. As far as the cover goes, it's very smooth, feels cold to the touch, although it's not silky smooth. It's not as smooth as I personally would like. It's not rough by any means, but you know, it just could be uber soft if you know what I'm talking about. As far as softness goes, as you can see, it instantly recovers and it is a bit more on the firm side. It's a lot firmer than I would like as far as first impressions go, but it does feel comfortable. So you know what? This might actually be a good bed. I gotta actually sleep on it to actually figure it out for sure though. You know what? Although it's not as plush as I was hoping for, it actually wraps around your body and makes you feel really good like like no pressure at all it feels huh i'm like i'm actually liking it hold up that is pretty weird it's a weird feeling that i'm not used to i'm feeling no pressure on my body <laughs> I want to say it almost feels like weightlessness. Oh, as I moved, I could feel the bed conform to my body again. Oh, let, me, let me, let's try stomach. <laughs> you know what? First impressions, I'm impressed so far. It's feeling very comfortable. The way it's conforming to my body, I do feel like I might not actually toss and turn because it's kind of caressing you. Remember it said an all night hug? That's basically what it's feeling like right now. I know there is a thing such as two plus where you just sink in and it's not really supporting your body whatsoever. And I always thought that's what I wanted, but maybe that's not what's actually best. So this right here though, it's feeling good. Let me move over here. Okay. I don't know. It feels very cold, although, you know, that's probably not going to stay the case as I'm sleeping and burning up, but it does feel very comfortable. I'm, this is pretty impressive. No matter how I lay on here, it's just feeling nice. Okay, so big thumbs up to begin with, but I'm going to actually sleep on this tonight figure out if I toss and turn less, hopefully, maybe I'll get an amazing night's sleep, that'll be great. And it's not even technically fully expanded, although I'm pretty sure this is just as big as it's gonna get, you know, whatever. 24 hours, you don't really have to wait. At least that's for me. Just listen to them though, maybe, I guess. But I'm gonna sleep on this thing, see how well it supports me all night. Hopefully it's very good, and I'll let you guys know tomorrow after 24 hours go by. It has officially been 24 hours since we unboxed this. It's actually been a little bit more, but who's counting minutes and hours? Nobody. We just got 24 and that's all that matters. But basically I slept on it all night. 
I didn't toss and turn as much as I normally do. And here's how I know this. I did wake up a couple of times throughout the night, which, you know, sometimes is usual, sometimes I'm out like a light. It depends. But last night, the couple of times I did wake up in the middle of the night, I did realize as I was laying there, yo, this is exactly how I was laying when I fell asleep. So that's actually a really good sign. I didn't feel warm through the night as I was sleeping, although to be fair, it is really cold in here because of course it is winter time, so keep that in mind. I'm just really impressed that every time I woke up, I was laying exactly how I was when I fell asleep because that never happens usually I start off laying like this then when I wake up I'm like this I just woke up and I was exactly the way I was so that's really impressive to me in the morning I did wake up feeling nice and refreshed no body aches so this mattress definitely does a good job by relieving the pressure that you get when you're laying down on a mattress and what I'm comparing this to is my old mattress because most of the time when I woke up if I was laying weird or something I would just wake up in pain sometimes in the night I wake up with my leg hurting so with this I haven't experienced any pain so far and that's always a good sign as far as expansion after 24 hours, it looks exactly the same as it did when I first unboxed it. So pretty much that's what you're going to get. Right when you unbox it a couple minutes after it hits the air and it starts expanding, that's as big as it's going to get. It's not going to get any bigger after 24 hours. But overall, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really liking it. I mean, just laying on it like this right now, it just feels good. I'm liking this. Whoa. Like it still feels the same as yesterday when I unboxed it. Just laying on here, no pressure just relieving any kind of pressure that there could be. So, so far I can definitely recommend this mattress, but remember I have 128 days to try this thing out and see if it's actually good. Because remember one night, that doesn't really say much. It's long term, that's where we're gonna see if this mattress can actually last. So after 120 nights go by and I actually break this mattress in, wink wink we'll see how well it's holding up and see if it still feels as good as it feels now and if maybe last night wasn't a fluke and i still feel refreshed every morning as well as not tossing and turning all night like i normally do i do really like this pattern though so i think i'm gonna definitely need to get one of their sheets or mattress protectors and their pillows you know to match it up i really dig this and i just don't want to get it dirty so i'm of course going to be putting sheets over it that's the problem so i need to get like the glad grid sheets although i always like to switch up the sheets and the color so you know i guess it is what it is it's personal preference right there so since it's been 24 hours it's of course nighttime so it's time to go to sleep so i'm gonna lay down i'm gonna slumber if you guys want to pick up one of these mattresses the link's down below like always and i'm just gonna lay down relax and you guys do what you do i'll see you in the next one Oh, my God.